paper. Community tonight. Um, it is absolutely amazing to see how far we've come since our inception last year, and this year is going to be one heck of a show. But before we roll into this, I would like to take a moment to introduce the Fairchild Wheeler Singing Club as they present our national anthem. against cancer. We have gathered as a community and are determined to make those who are facing cancer feel supported, that those who have lost their battle will not be forgotten, and that together we will continue to fight back. We would like to take a moment to celebrate the memory of those we have lost to cancer and the people who provided them support and compassion through their journey. Relay gives us the opportunity to remember and celebrate their lives. At Relay, we remember these special people we've cared for with our Luminaria ceremony. Each one displays a name of the person you cared for, as well as messages remembering and celebrating their lives. As you walk around the track, I encourage you to be thinking of the special times you've shared together. Even though these people are no longer with us, their spirit lives on. I'd like to welcome Julia Kudir to the stage now. Since 1913, when the American Cancer Society was founded, people have been drawn together by a very simple but urgent need to cure cancer. People have fought and are still fighting cancer. We are gathered around this track today to find a cure for cancer. In these 12 hours, we will prove that cancer never sleeps, and neither will we. We've come together, no matter where we are, to celebrate life, to remember those we've lost, and to fight back against this unfortunate disease. Relay this year was planned by a super fun and hardworking family. There are 20 of us, and I wanted to spend a brief moment giving shout outs to the people that made this night happen. We formed three teams, bring the fun, responsible for the events tonight, bring the money, responsible for fundraising, and bring the people, responsible for getting you all here to make this night a success. Our committee consists of students, parents, and teachers from Bridgeport, Fairfield, Milford, Shelton, Trumbull, Stratford, and more. We have had a blast working together. Um, from Bring the People, Miss Crudale. Woo! Graham Bunnell. Woo! Camilla Rodriguez. Woo! Taya Salas. Um, Alex Gurgley. Woo! Mubarak Sani. Uh, and from Bring the Fun, Miss Pearson, <laughs> Leilani DiRocco, <laughs> Angelique Campo, <laughs> Maggie Maloney, <laughs> Miss Brill, <laughs> me, <laughs> uh, from Bring the Money, Miss Helk, <laughs> Miss Kushner, <laughs> Kiana Laud, Veronica Bybush, Mr. Clue, and Mrs. Bybush. And finally, our event director, Mr. Anthony. If you have any questions at all, feel free to go up to anyone in our committee and say hi or ask them what they can do to make your experience here better. We're all wearing red shirts. At the very least, please thank them for their hard work. They have dedicated their time and effort to make sure this is a night you'll never forget. Now, to talk about our groups, here is my homie, Angelique, all the way from Bring the Fun Team. <laughs> Welcome to Relay. This year, we worked on making Relay the best it could be, and our theme this year is Relay Around the World. Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah, give it up! We want to celebrate and commemorate all the awesome diversity that our city has to offer. We, Bridgeport, are the biggest city in Connecticut. With over 145,000 residents, we bring together so much cultural diversity. Why not celebrate that? It is the people around us that bring us so much passion and joy in our lives. 
We hope everyone enjoys our Relay Around the World theme and makes sure to support their country. And the majority of our events tonight attempt to showcase that diversity. So tonight we have a variety of events for you, including, but not limited to, Lip Sync Battle. I hope you all sign up for that, yes? Mr. Universe, Relay Olympics, and our Taste of Home contest. In the pamphlet you received at the registration booth, there's a schedule of all the events and when they're happening. Now, put your hands together for my main man from Bring the People, Mubarak. Woo! Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you all for coming to this amazing event. Individuals in this role need the recruitment and engagement of Relay for Life teams and participants, survivors, and caregivers. We have been trying to gather, recruit, and lead the community with this event and bring everyone together over one common cause. Last year, in 2015, we had 500 people at the 2015 Relay for Life of Bridgeport. As of today, 458 people have signed up on our website for this year's event. Still, we are looking forward to bringing 1,000 community members to our event tonight. Thank you to everyone who has come. I want, I want to hand out the mic to the best teacher ever, Mr. Clue, from Bring the Money. Put your hands together. Alright, I'm glad to see you all here. Last year, the Relay for Life of Bridgeport, we brought in upwards of actually $25,000. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who took part in Relay last year. The amount of money we donated was amazing. Um, this year, we want to raise even more money. Our goal is 40000 and so far, we have 23950 wow. Uh, this is a great accomplishment and everyone should be proud of themselves. Um, also as a part of the fundraising committee, I'd like to say a special thank you uh, to specific companies who have taken a leadership role in Relay by becoming sponsors and donors. In addition to putting teams together, they lend their financial support to help offset some of our expenses and donated um, much needed goods and services. We would like to give a special thanks to Teach for America in helping today become a reality. Let's hear it for them. Not to mention, thank you to the people who volunteered their goods for us today out of the kindness of their heart. Um, a special thank you to Vladimir Kushner, Famous Pizza, Captain's Pizza, and Billy's Bakery. And I'd like to welcome up Maggie Maloney. Thank you, Mr. Clue, and to all our wonderful sponsors. To kickstart our night, I would like everyone in our crowd to please join me in thanking and introducing our keynote speaker for the night. We are delighted to introduce Sada Baraka, first and foremost, a Bridgeport community member whose children have attended the Bridgeport schools. She is a fierce community volunteer and advocate and is here tonight to open our ceremony. Ms. Baraka has shown an incredible dedication to our students bringing her, during her three-term tenure as a Bridgeport Board of Education member. In this position, she has fought to protect and empower our students for over a decade. Please put your hands together for Sada Baraka. Good evening, everyone. It is a true honor to address our phenomenal students and adults who have volunteered, organized this important event for the second Relay for Life. To begin, I'd like to speak a little bit about Bridgeport, our city on the port, where the sun, of course not today, um, shines off of the waters, producing gleaming rays, which I consider rays of hope. Daily we struggle with so many adversities, and sometimes the struggle seems greater than the hope. But I know that we are blessed with the sun, and that the sun will shine producing those gleaming rays off of the waters about our port. Fairchild Willard Intradistrict Magnet High School is one of our gleaming rays. It is the first new high school Bridgeport has built since Central High School, and that was many decades ago. It is our first intradistrict high school with a STEM focus. It is the first with three distinct themes. Our new endeavor brought together city along with the towns, we work collaboratively to lay the foundation for our school, building the great program, then selecting and hiring the faculty and staff, then most importantly, our student body. 
and their parents and now our first graduating class of Fairchild Wheeler Interdistrict Magnet, the class of 2016. Please be proud. But if that wasn't enough, we have Relay for Life. What an incredible undertaking for our school, staff, and student body. You are not only mobilizing the school, you are mobilizing several communities, towns, and a city to bring about cancer awareness and the need to find a cure for this horrible disease. A disease that impacts so many of us. Many of us who have either lost a loved one to this disease or have someone who's in remission. I know the disease myself personally, having had family members who have succumbed to the disease or are currently suffering from it. And today we're here because of you, our next generation, forging ahead, bringing awareness and being active participants in raising funds to find a cure. This is truly an exciting time. Our very young community, Fairchild Wheeler, three years in existence, has pulled together our communities for Relay of Life event. This, ladies and gentlemen, is how a school pulls together community on an issue, and this is what success looks like. So give yourselves a hand, because you are being successful. I am so proud of the work that Fairchild Wheeler teachers, parents, stakeholders, and most especially what our students have done to accomplish this goal. You are a testament to what can be done when everyone pulls together and works collectively to accomplish a specific task. Your school community raised a significant amount of money to further cancer research, to battle this horrific disease that impacts so many lives. And what I have to say to you as a mother, a grandmother, community advocate, and member of the Board of Education is thank you. Thank you so very much for what you have done, what you are doing, and I ask that you never, ever, ever stop. Because you are our future, you are the bright, intelligent, and reasoning minds with hearts filled with love and whom we depend on to make a difference. Thank you all, and let's have a great Relay for Life. Let's put your hands together for Sada Baraka. That was amazing. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. We really appreciate all your inspiring words. Um, before our first stop, we would like to now present um, our American Cancer Society representative, Lindsay, who will be giving a little more explanation of what Relay for Life is all about and why are we here today. Let's put our hands together for Lindsay. <laughs> Hi everyone, thank you all for coming. As Ryan said, my name is Lindsay and I'm the American Cancer Society staff partner for Bridgeport. If anyone has any questions or need anything, please feel free to ask me throughout the night. I'm here to help you guys in any way that I can. Before I tell you about Relay for Life and the American Cancer Society, I just want to give a few shout outs to all of the amazing people that have made this night possible. First, to everyone who you see in the blue shirts, who are our team captains. Thank you for organizing your teams and being committed leaders and relayers. Also, also to all the participants who you see in white, our Hope Club members, who have raised $100 or more. Thank you for being committed to funding the mission of the American Cancer Society. And to everyone who you see here in a red shirt who has been working hard all year to plan this amazing event for all of you. A special thanks to everyone and to everyone else for being here tonight. So I'm here to talk to you about all things Relay and ACS. There's been so much progress in the fight against cancer since the American Cancer Society was founded in 1913. Because there is still so much progress to make, we join here this evening. Since we stood here last year, many developments have happened in the fight against cancer and many future developments are being funded because of the funds you and countless other Relay participants have raised. We are proud to say that the American Cancer Society is the largest private, non-profit funder of cancer research in the United States. But we don't stop there. 
Our advocacy affiliate, the American Cancer Society Cancer Act Action Network, ACS CAN, lobbies the federal government to make sure that our tax dollars are spent on cancer research funding. ACS CAN is the voice that influences our elected officials to do what works to fight cancer. To find out more about becoming an ACS CAN member, you can visit the registration tent. Cancer is one of the most complex problems in modern medicine. There is no one way to stop it as it manifests in more than a hundred ways and can arise from numerous causes. Thousands of cancer-causing gene problems have already been identified, but there are likely hundreds of thousands more that are yet to be discovered. Gaining a better understanding of why and how this genetic damage occurs and how it leads to cancer continues to be a major goal of cancer researchers. This is not to say that there's been, there has not been progress. In fact, researchers and health professionals have made great strides in bringing more effective and less destructive treatments, identifying more cancer causes, which leads to more ways to prevent it and developing a better understanding of how to manage all of cancer side effects during and after treatment. Still, cancer remains one of the leading causes of death worldwide, and so the American Cancer Society spends a significant amount of time and money on cancer research. Since 1946, the Society has awarded more than $4 billion in research grants. Currently, we are funding eight, over 800 grants, totaling more than $438 million. Some of the new work that you are helping to fund is a better understanding of how cancer cells work and why they come about. Some of today's most promising emerging treatment areas, including targeted therapy, personalized cancer treatment, and immunotherapy, treating the whole patient during and after cancer, research around how and why obesity increases cancer risk, and ways to increase cancer screening rates. In addition to this amazing research, the Society is currently funding help right here in our area. Patients have access to resources like WIGs, support groups, and rides to and from treatment through programs like Look Good, Feel Better, Reach to Recovery, and Road to Recovery. I'll tell you more about those later. All of the American Cancer Society programs and services are free to the patient because of you. So thank you. Those are just some of the things that we Relay F participants have accomplished in just one year. I'd say we've done a fantastic job. So congratulations and thank you to everyone who has been part of making this possible. Thank you so much, Lindsay, for expanding our knowledge about ACS and what they do and Relay for Life and its mission. 100% of our proceeds tonight will go to the American Cancer Society um, because of everything that Lindsay will explain and so much more. Um, lastly, we want to introduce a, a special guest tonight. We are going to um, bring up to the stage a representative from our mayor, Ms. Joseph Gannam. We have John Gomes and Chief of Police, Chief Perez. Let's hear it. <laughs> How are we doing? I've got to raise some excitement. My name is John Gomes, and uh, I want to introduce Chief AJ Perez. On behalf of uh, Mayor Gannam, we truly, truly want to thank you. We want to thank you for, for putting this together, for fighting a bat battle that has affected all of us one way or another. We want to congratulate you. I know we had uh, Ms. Baraka come up as a board member of the Board of Education. And this is the story that we need to take back to the Board of Education to let them know how the future looks because it's because of you, because of your dreams, it's because of your commitment that we're able to put this together. And at the same time, this vision is supported by all the parents that are here together, the sponsors, but most of all, I see the principal in the background there. He doesn't say much. He just points this way and that way. <laughs> and the coordinator, the teachers that are involved, and the director of the program. So I want to wish you best of luck tonight. I think it will exceed $40,000. And um, Chief, anything? No, I just want to say thank you and uh, good luck tonight. Have fun. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you. Yo, yo, let's hear it for these guys. That was awesome. Thank you.
And one last special guest, we'd like to welcome to the stage our own superintendent of Bridgeport Public Schools, Ms. Fran Rabinowitz. Let's hear it for her. I want to begin by just saying thank you to the wonderful Fairchild Wheeler students that have really pushed to put this together. Can I have a round of applause for all of them? You know, in Bridgeport, we have the most amazing students anywhere. Um, they work hard, they're committed, and they care about their community, and they care about the issues uh, that we have, like cancer. All of us have been touched by it in one way or another. All of us have family, have friends that have been touched. And these students are showing the way for tomorrow. And I want to tell you that we appreciate your efforts. And to all the teachers and the principals here that put this together, I want to applaud you because I know it isn't easy to put a huge event like this together, but it really makes a difference. It really makes a difference. And never think that you don't make a difference. Every dollar we collect here tonight will be used to move the fight a little bit further um, to eradicate this horrific disease. And family and friends, thank you for coming to support the cause and to support our wonderful students in their quest to do something for the community. So I wish you all a wonderful evening. I carried in a lot of snacks for someone, so it looks like you've got a lot of good food to eat. Well, I don't know if it's good, but you have a lot of food to eat and a lot of soda. Have a great time and know you're really doing something very, very good for the community and the world. Thank you so much. Can we put our hands together for our last guest speaker, Ms. Fran Rabinowitz? Serious role model in our community. Thank you so much again. Thank you. So this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Uh, we would like to start our event up. And the first lap tonight is our survivor lap. So thank you to all of our survivors for joining us today. Um, so what do you say? Let's get this celebration started, right? Woo! Let me quickly explain what's about to happen. Um, we're going to honor our survivors here with us. And those of you representing a virtual survivor who was unable to attend today's event, um, you can come by asking them to take the first lap. And we ask that everyone else, you can um, fan out around the track and cheer them as they go along. Um, as they finish the first lap, we'll ask anyone who is currently a caregiver or who has ever been a caregiver to join the survivors for a second lap. So survivors first, caregivers second. Then we'll ask all of our teams to walk a lap together before we settle into our regular walking schedule for the night and kick out our entertainment and hourly activities. So, without further ado, please join me in cheering on our cancer survivors and virtual survivors for the night. Our reason why we celebrate as they walk the opening lap of the second annual Reef of Life. Let's hear it! Bye. 